What are you looking for, little kitty? That's interesting. Did you find any? Where is everybody? <laughs> That's the exact question Nobel Prize winning physicist Enrico Fermi asked to provide an answer to his paradoxical situation. So, let's explore his theory to find out where are the aliens? Zoom in! The observable universe spans a staggering 90 billion light years and teems with innumerable galaxies, each hosting billions of stars and potentially trillions of planets where life might thrive. Yet despite this immense potential, a puzzling question remains. Why have we not yet discovered any indications of extraterrestrial life? Puzzled by this question back in the 1950s, Enrico Fermi, while having a casual chat with his buddies over lunch, tossed out a question that would become super famous. Where is everybody? This simple but mind-boggling question made the whole room go quiet because no one had the answer. Unfortunately, Fermi passed away in 1954. But his question continued to trouble the scientific community, which endeavored to generate possible explanations for why we haven't made contact with extraterrestrial civilizations yet, and proposed several hypotheses. The first of these hypotheses is the Great Filter, which represents an obstacle that is exceedingly difficult for existing life forms to overcome. This suggests that while life may exist elsewhere, it faces unconquerable challenges, preventing it from evolving into a highly intelligent species like us. On the flip side, there's a haunting possibility that certain advanced civilizations, having reached a level far beyond our comprehension, might inadvertently pave their own path to destruction. This danger arises when they develop cutting-edge technologies that, ironically, become the very catalyst for their downfall. The next hypothesis is technological barriers, which boasts that traveling between stars is incredibly tricky. To the point that even super smart aliens might not have figured it out. So, even if they are out there, they might be stuck in their own cosmic neighborhoods. Next is the zoo hypothesis, which suggests that advanced civilizations might be deliberately avoiding contact with us, either to observe us or to avoid interfering with our development. The next hypothesis is something we should learn from, and that is self-destruction. This theory proposes that it's also possible for advanced societies to self-destruct due to factors like war, environmental degradation, or other means before they can establish communication with other planets. Lastly, the reason we haven't found aliens yet is that we haven't looked hard enough. Considering the vastness of the universe, our search may have been limited in scope primarily concentrating on the quest for radio signals and exoplanets. Who knows, there might be alternative forms of communication or other aspects of the cosmos that we haven't explored. So, there you have it. These are some of the hypotheses that may explain why we haven't yet discovered extraterrestrial life. As we continue to advance our understanding of the universe, and venture into new frontiers in space, the question of where are the aliens remains one of the most captivating puzzles of our time. So, keep dreaming about meeting aliens and who knows, one day you might just unlock this mystery. Trivia time! Did you know that according to a report from the Pentagon, there have been approximately 144 UFO encounters between 2004 and 2021? Yes, 
out of the 144 encounters, only one could be possibly identified and it turned out to be a large deflating balloon. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Anuj Rathor. Hope you learned something unknown today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Let's go, little kitty. We have no sign of aliens here.